Space weather lights up the far side of the sun this week. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, look at the east limb. You can see all these gorgeous prominences, and that really hints at what's to come. There's a lot of interesting activity going on there. In fact, on the 31st, you can't see it in Earth view, but there was a massive solar storm that was launched. You do see it uh, in uh, coronagraphs. Look at that massive uh, partial halo. It was almost a full halo eruption. This solar storm is not going toward Earth. Earth, but it does let us know that we've got some solar storm activity on the sun's far side that will be rotating into Earth view here over the next couple days and could give us more eye candy to come. Meanwhile, we also have a coronal hole that's going to be rotating in through the Earth strike zone here over the next couple days and could definitely give us some fast solar wind and bring aurora down to mid latitudes in and around the 4th and maybe for the next day or two after that. So aurora photographers, you definitely have something to look forward to. Now, as we take a look at our far-sided sun. This is stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. Take a look at all of the bright regions, especially in the north and on the east limb in stereo's view. In fact, when you take a look at right around the 31st, you can actually see a hint of that big solar storm eruption that gave us that beautiful partial halo. That's how we know that that solar storm is not Earth-directed, despite the fact coronagraphs make it look like it is. But what it does tell us is that we've got some solar storm players that are going to be rotating into Earth view over the next few days. Finally, we're going to get some activity back, and we could start seeing some big flare activity again. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders, as well as satellite operators, you're definitely going to need to worry about those radio bands as we move into next week, and that could give us, cause an issue for traffic and space comms as well. For more details on this week's space weather, including how that coronal hole with the fast solar wind could affect you, Come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.